Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. As always, leaving a comment, you leaving a like, or subscribing, all of these things help out the channel immensely and are very much appreciated. And very big thank you to everyone who is a clicker of affiliate links. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Welcome back to another News I Missed, where I go over... News I missed. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume, has announced a new initiative called Edufy. Users stand to earn crypto through the program while studying important blockchain sectors. Binance Academy, the cryptocurrency exchange's crypto blockchain learning arm, has introduced its new Edufy program. As program, there we go, users can earn crypto by completing various educational activities, including reading articles, watching video lectures, and taking tests focused on the blockchain sector. Users who pass the identity verification procedure, it's normal for every crypto exchange now, and agree to Binance's terms of use are welcome to participate Starting on the 25th of March, therefore, news I missed, the first batch of the Learn and Earn program will include projects like Luna, or Terra, Ank, I have no idea what ANC is, UST, the stablecoin, the Woo Network, Polka Starter, and Anchor, that is A-N-K-R. Additional batches will also be hosted Regularly, users stand to earn tokens depending on their actions within the established $600,000 prize pool. The exchange will announce the rounds that follow at a later date. This is very similar to what Coinbase has. Coinbase has like a Coinbase earn kind of thing. We've gone over that before. For those of you who don't know, basically you go into their website uh, and you read. You answer questions. You learn about cryptocurrencies and they kind of pay you for doing so. It's anywhere roughly between, I mean, $4 to like $18 after answering a bunch of questions, which is totally worth it to get some free cryptocurrency. Uh, so I'm actually kind of shocked that it took Binance even this long to actually get into this sector as well. You get a lot of people to use your, your website and your platform, especially if you are just giving away cryptocurrencies for free. Um, this has been out for a couple of days now. Has anyone else use this? Has it worked? I assume it did. If, if if this had launched and Binance was giving away free money and people didn't receive their money, I have a very strange feeling we would definitely have all heard uh, some type of controversy floating around it. So yeah, Binance has launched an Edufy program. It sounds pretty good. Uh, free money is always nice, especially if you have a couple of extra minutes in your day. And without further ado... Let's move on. Also in the news, Bank Loimi, L-E-U-M-I, one of the largest banks in Israel, has become the first bank in Israel to offer crypto trading after an agreement with U.S. crypto firm Paxos. Customers of Loimi's digital arm, Pepper Invest, will be able to hold, buy, and sell cryptocurrencies worth at least around $15, which is, you know, that's a fair amount. However, the crypto trading will be limited to Bitcoin and Ethereum for now, which is also quite common whenever we've heard... Is it snowing? When it, what is that? Whenever we've heard before that any bank is getting into... I think that's snow. Whenever we've heard any bank before that's getting into the cryptocurrency space, why is it snowing so late in the year? It's April. Anyway, the point is, whenever banks usually typically get into the cryptocurrency space, we uh, normally hear that they're usually at the beginning, just adding Bitcoin and Ethereum. As time goes on and they figure out that other coins are also very, very popular, they also get added to the platform as well. Bank Loimi is going to enable crypto trading in Bitcoin and Ethereum through its digital platform Pepper Invest, with the launch date and regulatory approval still pending as of the 24th of March. This was reported by Reuters. Uh, not that it's not spectacular. Uh, once again, the, the level of crypto adoption is absolutely sky high. I think so many people, whenever we do get news like this, it doesn't kind of impress them anymore. If we had heard before that any bank had shown interest in the cryptocurrency space, people and prices would have completely lost their minds. But now we're in this like really weird space where wherever we get kind of, you know, 
hundreds of banks around the world are getting into crypto and going to offer it to their uh, clients as well. People kind of go, oh, okay, well, that's cool. So I guess, I mean, it just shows how far that we've come as a as a cryptocurrency market, but I wish people had a little bit more enthusiasm whenever we heard that potentially hundreds of millions of billions of dollars are going to be flowing into the market, or even that people who you know are going to have like a chance to be able to buy crypto easily, because crypto exchanges for some reason aren't for everyone, but going to your local bank and being like, hey, give me some BTC works for a lot of people. Yeah, that's the, that's snow. What in the world is going? Okay, that's the largest bank in Israel is going to offer crypto trading for Bitcoin and Ethereum for its clients news. And yeah, let's move on. Next up, South Korean game developer Krafton or Krafton, have no idea how to pronounce that, K-R-A-F-T-O-N, I'll say Krafton, has signed a deal with Solana Labs to include NFTs in Krafton's award-winning Battle Royale PUBG. Oh, Player Unknown Battleground, PUBG. The partnership with Solana was formed to support the development and operation of blockchain and NFT-based games and services. Huyang Kul Park, head of Krafton's Web3 division, said Krafton will continuously look for ways to closely work with blockchain companies like Solana Sanana Labs. Solana Labs as we work towards establishing our Web3 ecosystem. Solana represents the best of the Web3 ecosystem and its technologies. Through this cooperation, Krafton will acquire the insight needed to accelerate its investment in and output of blockchain-based experiences. It says the announcement comes as a surprise uh, with NFTs widely seeing non-acceptance in the traditional gaming industry. For those of you who are or know someone outside of the crypto, and I mean like far outside of the cryptocurrency space, ask them what they think of NFTs, and they're going to go on like a three-hour rant. Uh, but alas, yeah, so uh, this is also news that really didn't make the news when this news was first released. Solana seeing a lot of rapid acceptance. A lot of people are buying Solana. Solana's being added to a lot of different funds. People are building on top of Solana. It's kind of the, I don't know, it's, it's being touted as the, uh, the, Ethereum uh, rival competitor, if you will. But I mean, to be fair, a couple of years ago, there were five other coins who were kind of on that same exact run, but also not a lot of them are being built on by gaming companies. So, you know, that's kind of a different thing altogether. That's the Solana news. Yeah, I myself have never heard of Krafton, but I also haven't heard of everything on the planet. So, you know, I, I assume Krafton is going to be popular. I wonder exactly what the NFTs are going to be. Uh, simply because they could be a wide range of things. We're also getting a lot of news now about blockchain-based games kind of becoming like more mainstreamy and like nice looking-y as far as like a an open world kind of experience. But, you know. Anyway, that's the Solana has partnered with Krafton News to develop NFT games. Hope they look nice. Yeah. Let's move on. Also in the news, South Korean tech giant LG Electronics has officially added blockchain and cryptocurrency as new business areas in its corporate charter. According to a South Korean news report, LG added two distinct crypto-related objectives during its annual general meeting on Thursday. The objectives include the development and selling of blockchain-based software and the sale and brokerage of cryptocurrency leading to conjecture whether LG would establish some form of crypto. I mean, come on. LG and Samsung have been in the cryptocurrency space since around 2017. Remember the first like $1,000 blockchain phone that I was like, I'm not going to buy because it seems a little bit too expensive. They've been in the market for a very long time. They know exactly what's going on. Keep in mind, once again, this is all expected. We are, we, we are already a multi-trillion dollar asset class. And we're still talking about a lot of these coins, 100 or 1,000 Xing over the, lit like literally those numbers over the next 5, 10, or 15 years. Why would you not, as a mega company, want to not get into this space when you see that there's so much money 
to be made. When asked about the company's intentions to start its own exchange or platform, an LG spokesperson tempered any speculation stating nothing has been decided yet. We just mentioned business areas in a broad manner, I'm sure. So the news is, yeah, um, much like Samsung, who already has blockchain phones and cryptocurrency wallets, and I think they're also rumored to be, wait, what was it? I think Samsung was creating their own metaverse, so they bought land in the sandbox. It was something metaverse and they're also going to be creating their own NFTs. I think one of their phones has NFTs on it already. If you buy it, I think that's also a thing. You can Google that as well. So... It's not surprising that LG, who's, I believe, also just as popular as Samsung, would also be doing the exact same thing, especially once again, you know, money. If there's a lot of money to be made, I assume a mega company will be doing anything that they can to also get into the space. Yeah, that's a woman smiling, holding an LG phone with lightning coming out the back of her phone. I don't know why she's holding onto it. It seems dangerous news. And yeah. Let's move on. And to finish things off, after raising $2.6 million earlier this month, the Cardano-based decentralized exchange, known as AdaSwap, has announced plans to launch its own NFT marketplace. AdaSwap, a Cardano-based DeFi protocol, is ready to launch an NFT marketplace Okay, therefore, news I missed. A voting mechanism incorporated with tier-based categorization of its users will be implemented to gamify the new marketplace. All right. AdaSwap, one of the earliest DeFi protocols built on the Cardano network, is launching an NFT marketplace. This is a key step, according to the press release shared with Crypto Potato, that will bring more users into Ada's ecosystem and generate greater value and incentive to hold as well. What's ASWA? A-S-W. An incentive to hold ASWA. The native token that is, if I just read further, my gosh, the native token that is available on gate.io. So AdaSwap has a token called A-S-W, and I guess that's the first letter and then the SW from swap. All right. Ada NFT, backed by AdaSwap, is designed to tackle the issue of poor curation identified in other NFT marketplaces. It also wants to provide lower gas fees for minting and trading NFTs. Those are always nice. I mean, I don't, I don't hate lower fees, you know. And make the marketplace more decentralized in the way that users get to decide which collections are being listed. Cool. So... And I can't stand the title. For those of you who are not looking at the screen, it says Gal Gadot back to decentralized exchange. Wow. You know, you just had to throw her name in there because if I wasn't going to use it before, Gal Gadot is definitely going to make me use this crypto exchange now. I don't care if she's put money into it or not. Like, I, I'm tired of like celebrity name thrown in Cardano, celebrity name thrown in Solana. Like, I, if, if the coin is good, if the projects are good, if it looks nice, I'm going to use it. I don't need to know that she has, has backed it. Like, I could literally care less. Anyway, cool. I haven't heard too much about this. Um, I'm mainly on OpenSea and Rarible. Uh, but if Ada swaps decentralized exchange NFT marketplace is nice. Has anyone out there used it? Is this used by anyone else? Has anyone heard about people minting on this platform or on this chain or on this place? Are the fees really low? Has it worked out for you? Does it look ugly? That's a really big thing for me. Like I, there were a lot of um, crypto things that appeared two, three, four years ago, kind of the only ones around. But when you use them, they looked like it was like Windows 97 and it's like, eh, rather not use it. I'll wait till something prettier comes out. I want like a nice interface if I'm going to be using stuff. Anyway, that's the Gal Gadot backed decentralized exchange on Cardano has launched an NFT marketplace. See how irrelevant her name was there? Like everything else sounded fine. Anyway, that's the Cardano news. And yeah, let's move on. Yeah, I do hope uh, that you've all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a look at all these transactions. My gosh, a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking 
to you all soon. See you.